In this video we will show you how to work with Geomagna radar by Tangra metal detectors. Before we start working, we need to switch on the device, and then we need to start the Android application. We need to tap on the application's icon, which is on the screen of the tablet. After we have started the application, we need to establish a connection between it and the device by tapping on the icon with the red human figure at the top left corner of the screen. Sometimes, the connection fails to establish at first attempt, that is why we tap on the button with the connect sign on it, until we succeed. After we have established the connection, we need to start the adjust procedure by tapping on the adjust button. Now we are setting and adjusting the sensors by using the potentiometer on the device's control panel. By turning the potentiometer we are trying to get sensors readings as close as possible. We can see these readings on the left side of the screen. First two readings are the sensors readings, and the third one is the difference between them. When we have both sensors readings as closest as possible, we need to press the zero button on the device's handle, and thus we inform the application that we like the readings and the adjust procedure may end. By tapping on the ready button on the screen, we inform the application that the adjust procedure has ended and the calibration has finished. We are ready to proceed with selecting the map size for our survey. We choose the map size for our survey by tapping on the corresponding button on the left side of the screen. Tap on the step button to make the application get the current readings and draw a color dot on the map. Each dot represents the difference between readings of both sensors, measuring the Earth's magnetic field at the location. By tapping on run button, the application automatically gets sensors readings every second and then draws on the screen. We can change the way the application represents the data of our survey in three different visualizations. We can choose which visualization to see by tapping on the button with sign of an eye on it. In one of these visualizations we can see how our survey map looks like as a result of walking along the terrain and collecting data. We can choose which visualization to see by tapping on the button with sign of an eye on it. Now we observe a significant change in readings of the sensors. Here is how this change affects the map of the survey. When the difference between the sensors is with negative sign, the application draws dots using colors of the blue spectrum. When the difference is towards positive, the application draws dots using colors of the red spectrum. Here we see a significant change of senses readings, caused by a local disturbance of Earth's magnetic field, due to a presence of objects beneath the ground surface. Here is how our survey map looks like. In every moment of our survey and especially at the end of every row we could see a 2D, 3D representation of the collected data. We can switch between 2D and 3D representation using the green button at the bottom left corner of the screen. By touching and sliding a finger on tablet screen we can look at the 3D map from different angle. Tap on the green button to look at the 2D visualization. By touching and sliding a finger on tablet screen we can see the sensors readings at different points of the map. Here we have a local minimum. Here we have a local maximum. Here is another local maximum. Change between 2D and 3D visualization by tapping on the green button at bottom left corner of the screen. We can exit 2D, 3D visualization mode by tapping on the long yellow button at the bottom of the screen. Now we are back to survey mode and we can proceed collecting data for the map of our survey.
Here is how our survey map looks like at this moment. We can proceed with making our survey map by tapping on Run a Step button. Here is something we need to emphasize. It is strongly recommended to keep device's orientation constant at all times during the survey. Upon reaching each end of a row, we need to change the direction but should not change the orientation of the device after we turn around. In other words, despite changing direction of the surveyor, the device must keep its orientation facing the same direction at all times. The best practice is to face the device towards east and keep it this way during the whole survey. From this moment on our task is to walk along the whole terrain and fill up the whole map. In this case our map is 20 by 20 or 400 dots in total. At any moment of our survey we can switch between visualizations if it is of help to the surveyor. Some surveyors could like one of the visualizations more than the other visualizations. This visualization shows the survey map in colors and contours, which emphasizes the areas with significant changes. At some points of the survey we can experience a connection failure between the tablet and the device that is why we restore the connection by tapping on the button connect. When the connection is restored the application continues working. Bluetooth connection is usually stable in open air up to about 10 meters. In our case the distance between the tablet and the device is about half a meter and this makes the connection very stable. From this moment on our task is to walk along the whole terrain and fill up the whole map. We can stop at any moment of the survey by tapping on step button and see the 2D, 3D representation of the survey map. Here we observe changes in sensors readings during the survey. These changes are caused by different texture and content of the soil under the ground surface. We have to keep in mind that the intensity of Earth's magnetic field varies in time in each and every point and it can change within hours for one and same point of the terrain. These changes of the Earth's magnetic field affect the survey map, therefore, a map should be made in shortest time possible. It should not take hours to make a map. Once again, we need to remind that the device should be oriented towards same direction at all times from the beginning of the survey until its end.
preferably towards east. Despite the surveyor walks forwards and backwards along the terrain, the device needs to keep its orientation and it should not be revolved when the surveyor changes directions. Again we see changes in sensors readings. Here is another one. Let's take a look on the map. We can see how these changes are presented in different colors. We may conclude that there is a object under the surface which causes these changes. Now our survey is about to end. This is the last row of the map. When the last row is complete, the application will automatically create 2D, 3D visualizations of the complete map and will let us look and inspect them. Now the application is preparing the 2D and 3D visualizations. We will look at them and make some suggestions and conclusions. We can tap on the green button at bottom left corner of the screen and switching between 2D and 3D visualization. Change the view angle onto the 3D map by sliding a finger over the screen. We switch back to 2D visualization and by sliding a finger over the screen we can see what are the sensors readings at different points of the survey map. The difference of the sensors readings, especially those which are extreme, are represented in contrasting colors. These colors vary from dark blue, through green, to dark red. We need to tap on the long yellow button at the bottom of the screen in order to quit 2D, 3D visualization mode. Now we are going to exit the application and we'll see where the files of our survey are being stored. We start a file manager application. The files of our surveys are stored in the application's private folder. They reside in the tablet's internal memory. Android, data, B4A, Geomagna radar, files. Here we see several folders, which are named after the dates they had been created on. The survey map files reside in these folders. The survey files are of types picture, PNG, and a 3D model, 3DS. We can zoom in the maps of the surveys. Now we are going to leave the file manager application and we'll start again the Geomagna radar application and take a look at some survey map we created earlier. We tap on the view survey maps icon and then we choose a subfolder. Here we see survey maps that we have created during previous surveys, by tapping on a picture PNG file a 3D model file 3DS, the application enters the 2D, 3D visualization mode. Here we can switch between 2D and 3D visualizations and observe the stored survey maps.
We exit the 2D, 3D visualization mode and re-enter it in order to look at some other survey map. Now we exit the application.